all right guys let's head on over to redream.io the link to this page is in the description below now before we download the emulator i want to let you guys know that 95 percent of the dreamcast library of games are compatible with this emulator so this is the best emulator for dreamcast that you can download for pc or android now let's go ahead and click get for desktop since i'm on pc scroll down and you're gonna see stable releases and development releases. We're gonna download the stable release, which is V1.5.0, which was updated three years ago. Now, that was quite a while ago, but don't forget, this emulator is compatible with 95% of the games. And go ahead and select which platform you are downloading this emulator for. In my case, it's Windows. I now have the emulator downloaded and I have saved it on my desktop and it will be downloaded as a file that needs to be extracted. I use 7-zip to extract my files. If you guys need to download 7-zip, there will be a link to 7-zip in the description below. Once you have 7-zip installed on your PC, all you need to do is come back to this file, right click, go to 7-zip and extract here. And there we are, we now have our emulator. Let's go ahead and open it. Go ahead and click go to library and we're going to locate our games now one thing i like about redream is that the emulator will actually locate wherever you have your dreamcast roms stored on your pc but just in case it don't but in my case as you see right here it found my dreamcast games which is on my g drive my external hard drive but just in case it doesn't find them you want to go to add directory and you want to locate wherever you have your Dreamcast ROMs, whether that be in a SSD, external hard drive, wherever. In my case, it's on my G drive, emulation, games, Dreamcast, and here are all my Dreamcast games. And I'm just going to click add. And there we go. I have all my Dreamcast games uploaded to the emulator. And from there, just let Redream do its thing, and it's going to upload the box art. Now honestly at this point if you have an Xbox One controller connected to your PC or any wire controller you could click on a game here and just jump straight into that game with no problems. No setup required with this emulator everything on default settings works well and everything is where it needs to be. Now there is one thing you might want to change if we go up the video. In here you will find game aspect ratio. Now I know some people prefer to play at a 16 by nine ratio, which will be full screen, but it will stretch that game a little bit. But I prefer just to keep my Dreamcast games at a four by three aspect ratio, which the way the games were meant to be played. If we go over to input, as you see, our controller is already set up, port zero Xbox One S controller. But if you would like to make some changes, go ahead and click on that port and you could change your analog dead zone. And if you would like to change some of the buttons, go to customize binds. Now it's gonna map your controller out to look like this Dreamcast controller, but if you're not happy with that button layout, go ahead and select the button you would like to change. For an example, let's say we wanna change our A button, which on my Xbox One controller, the buttons are actually the same as the Dreamcast. I'm talking about the Y, X, A, and B button. But say we want to change it, all you would do is click on A and then hit whatever button on your controller you want to be that new button. Now let's head back over to redream.io and on the page that we downloaded the stable version of redream, there was also an option to upgrade to premium, which will cost you $6. And this gives you high definition and multiple save states. So let's go ahead and upgrade to premium. Now you have to be careful because under select the payment type, it's going to say pay $8. You want to make sure you hit $6. Go ahead and enter your credit card or debit card information and make the payment. After you have made the payment, you're going to get an email from Redream saying thank you for upgrading to premium. In order to complete your upgrade, you're going to have to create an account using this link. Then it's going to take you back over to redream.io and it's going to ask you to register a new account. So go ahead and enter your email and create a password and register. And then a file is going to start downloading called redream key. I have saved it here on my desktop. Go ahead and save this wherever you have the redream emulator installed. Now when we go back into the redream emulator and we go back up to video, we have a new option in here, game resolution, and we can crank this up to 1440p all the way up to 4K. I'm gonna leave it at 1440p. 
And for the purpose of this video, I'm gonna change the aspect ratio, even though I said I like it at four by three, I'm gonna change it to 16 by nine so you guys can see what that looks like with a higher resolution. Let's go back to games, and I'm gonna go ahead and load up a game. We can do Power Stone 2. 